And what did I do here? Well, let's give you some video. I'm here at the Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary and I'm going to go see some koalas and animals, etc. More than one animal. And the koalas are smaller than this guy. I hope. Dingoes would never eat a baby, okay? Dingo eat my baby. No, Dingo would never eat a baby. He's a very polite Dingo. Alrighty, this one is. It's the dark night of cockatoos. I don't know if I like this animal, but she does match my purse. Oh wow, look at him, his head is so big. A uh, mushroom goes into a bar and he's like, hey, I'd like a drink. And the guy's like, we don't serve vegetables. And then the, the mushroom says, I'm not a vegetable, I'm a fun guy. <laughs> don't leave. Why are you leaving? It was decent, it was a good joke. No, you're not gonna laugh? Okay, doesn't have a sense of humor, this guy. We're gonna feed the kangaroos now. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A pet and a kangaroo. What are you doing, dude? Hello. Excuse me, that was not meant for you. It was meant for the kangaroo. Rude. Not invited, ow! Get out of here. I'm here with Robert. Can you teach me some Australian? One thing we notice when Americans visit Australia is sometimes they say the word Aussie, mm -hmm. like Aussie. Aussie in Australia has a different meaning. If you did something very daring, like going bungee jumping, your friends would go, oh, that was pretty Aussie. So it's important if you're talking to Aussies to say Aussie and not say Aussie, unless they are Aussie Aussies, when that's a whole other thing. Awesome. Or ask them. <laughs> I want to scream really loud right now, but I don't want to disturb the baby koala. <laughs> so I'm here with Karen, who is the head koala mistress of Lone Pine Sanctuary. Hi. <laughs> What are five things people should know about koalas that they might not know? Number one, they're not bears. You can't call them koala bears. They're actually marsupials. And their baby's called a joey. Because they're marsupials, their pregnancy is only just over a month. Well, humans wish that could happen, huh? <laughs> That's right. They spend between 18 and 20 hours a day sleeping. What? They have um, prints on their hands. You could have a, a koala criminal database. You could. Okay, now this little girl's called Teresa. I'm crying because it's so cute. 
<laughs> I'm touching a koala right now. I can die happy. This is the most amazing moment of my life. Teresa, is this as beautiful for you as it is for me? Well, this has been awesome, but let's go see more of Australia, huh? It's gonna be a hard act to follow. So I'm here with Felicity, nice name. And Felicity, can you teach me some Australian? If you were going to greet somebody, you might say, good day, Felicia, how are you going? It's like, how are you doing? You do, we go. I guess Australians are always traveling. Oh, it's a walkabout thing. Mark is on the tree. It's really Mark. You see that? They generally climb the trees and you don't see much leaves until they get trip. Thank you to everybody in Australia who was so lovely to meet. I picked up a little bit of an accent. Not. I'm back to the States next week. See you guys on Geek and Sundry. Please subscribe to support us if you want us to make more videos. And bye!